Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, I didn't really have a specific topic about the Reds, but I just kind of wanted to give uh, my general overview uh, and opinion of them so far as the season is moving along. As it stands right now, the Reds are 8-13, and 13, uh, which is pretty disappointing, obviously. This is a team with some hopes and expectations going into the season, so 8-13 is probably you know a little worse off than myself and others had hoped out of them. Uh, they have played a little bit better since the slow start to the season, but they're going to need to pick it up as the season goes on because uh, one of the things I mentioned was this team has a lot of one-year contracts on this team, and it was absolutely imperative that they, that they get off to a fast start, and obviously 8-13 and 13 is the opposite of that. And the problem is, with the early hole they created, they're going to have to play extremely well to even get above 500 at this point, and... We're still obviously a long ways away from the trade deadline, but uh, they're going to have to play at a, at a extremely high win percentage between now and that point of time in the season. Uh, looking at the team right now, the starting pitching outside of uh, a few performances here and there has, has been mostly very good. Uh, obviously, the highlight of the staff so far, and the guy I touched on in my last video, Luis Castillo, has been absolutely dominant. He's been an ace. Uh, this team is still missing Alex Wood, uh, however, two of their other off-season acquisitions, Tanner Rorick and Sonny Gray, have they've mixed in some pretty good starts. Uh, these Stefani pitched well last time, uh, and Tyler, but Tyler Valley's been kind of disappointing so far, as has De Stefani prior to his most recent start. So, uh, offensively, um, they really haven't been uh, they ha really haven't clicked yet. This team has a very tough time scoring runs in other ways besides hitting the long ball. Uh, Matt Kemp and Yasiel Puig, as of right now, have been huge disappointments. And overall, if you go up and down the lineup, you'll see a lot of guys who are hitting below par. So if anybody who follows baseball, you know there's, you know, guys eventually will trend in the direction that their baseball cards indicate. But what I'm fearful of is Will they trend in the right direction at the same time that the pitching starts to slump? I mean, what's it going to be? Can they trend and continue to pitch well? I mean, that, that obviously remains to be seen. And if they continue playing at this sort of level of baseball, is there going to be a situation where the bats are getting hot, but the, they're, they're so far back that it doesn't matter? Uh, that's definitely a concern at this point. I don't think guys like Votto, Puig, Kemp, and others, they're they're – they're good hitters, so get it figured out, but hopefully before it's too late. Um, and I, I guess looking at the bigger picture, David Bell has, uh, he's definitely had his interesting moments this year. Uh, I do like the passion and the fire that he's shown at times. Um, I haven't really cared too much for his bullpen management. Um, also, throughout baseball, teams are not really letting their starting pitchers go through an order for a third time, and David Bell is absolutely no exception to that. Uh, I, without looking at the stats, I can't think of too many times this year starting pitching has gone to the seventh inning of a game or later. So, those are some of my thoughts about Bell, and also kind of wanted to share with you some of my thoughts about the pitching as well as uh, the lineup. So, eight and thirteen, three game series against the Braves, and then they hit the road for another road trip. So. They're going to have to really start picking it up here. Anyway, those are some of my general thoughts and views on the Reds. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.